Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss job order constant. This formula is used by managers to determine the unit cost for a specific job, which helps them determine how much profit they made given what they priced. It only differs from this formula in regards to the scope of the variables. Let's begin by looking at an example of a normal job order cost system. In this example, we have an estimated annual overhead of 720,000, an estimated annual direct labor hours of 576,000, and in January, we had actual direct labor hours of 54,000 and actual overhead of 70,000. The first step is to determine the predetermined overhead rate by dividing the estimated annual overhead by the estimated annual direct labor hours or estimated annual usage, giving us a plant-wide overhead rate of $1.25. Next step is to multiply the actual direct labor hours by the plant-wide overhead rate to determine that the applied overhead was 67500 Therefore, given that the actual overhead was 70000 we can determine that in the month of January, Management underapplied the overhead by 2,500. Let's use these inputs to go over a more comprehensive example of applying predetermined overhead rates to job order costing. Using the combined direct labor hours of each of the departments, we can determine the plant wide overhead rate, which is 215,000 plus 288,000 plus 27,000 divided by the sum of the direct labor hours, which is 5,400 plus 14,000 plus 8,000, giving us a plant-wide overhead rate of $51.96. Total direct labor hours for job one is 105, and the total direct labor hours for job two is 155. We now have all the information we need to, to determine the total cost for job one, which is the direct materials plus direct labor plus variable overhead, giving us 12,456. You can repeat this same process using the inputs for job two to determine that the total cost for job two is 19,154. Let's approach this example from another direction by using departmental rates. More specifically, let's use direct labor hours for departments A and C and machine hours for department B. Using these conditions for our example, the departmental overhead rates are as follows. The overhead rate for department A is $39.81 derived by using direct labor hours as the denominator. Now using machine hours as the denominator for department B, we determine that the overhead rate is $96. Now repeating what we did for A, we discover that the departmental overhead rate for C is $3.38. Now using these departmental rates, we can determine that the total cost for job one is the direct materials cost plus direct labor cost plus the sum of all the departmental rates times the hours for each department, giving us a total cost for job one of $12,566.15. Similarly, the total job order cost for job two is $19,224.60. As you can see, merely changing one of the departmental overhead rates results in different total job costs. Thank you for watching this video on job order costing. We went through the material quite quickly, so feel free to rewind to any section and review it carefully to clear up any confusion.